Hi everybody, Ralph here. I'm a model builder specializing in miniature tools and engines, miniatures of all sorts. I have been asked again to do an expose on the works of this four cylinder solenoid electric engine. It is a very complicated piece, apparently, yet its individual components are quite simple. One can readily recognize in this engine the flywheels, the crankshaft, connecting rods, pistons, cylinders, and other superficial stuff. Air intakes, which really serve no purpose but decoration. Spark plugs, same thing. Exhaust system, purely decorative. But on the inside are the electric switches, which are governed by internal cams. Four of them, because they have four cylinders. The engine is a very smooth, nicely operating machine. I've been asked about its speed. I've clocked it at 2300 RPMs and yet it's very easy to regulate in that I've added additional switches, one for each cylinder, so that we can test the efficiency of each cylinder, etc. Of course the engine runs beautifully on all switches. Now it's running strictly on number three. We throw in number four, it'll pick up RPM. Throw in number two, more RPM. Throw in number one, they're all working fast. At the front, we have a real stack, which also allows us to regulate speed, adding to the complexity of the electrical parts. Of course, the main switch and the pilot light, all are wired in uh, to this engine. The electronic parts are basic, simple switches. For example, we have a switch hooked up to a battery, power source of some sort, hooked up to a coil, and back to the other end of the switch. Each one of these cylinders has an additional switch in here somewhere to let it operate by itself. There is also a power light somewhere in here that allows the pilot light to go on. The schematic is a compilation of simple switches, four of them, married to the mechanics of the engine. Here we have the cylinders the solenoids, labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. Switch number 2 is wired up to solenoid number 2 through a battery and back. Same with number 4. The mechanics of the cam turns each switch on at the appropriate time. There's the trick to this engine, getting the timing exactly right. Cam number 2 in this housing operates cylinder 1 and 3. The thing is, when the cam depresses switch 3, it is important that cylinder number 3 be at bottom dead center so that it can be drawn up by the magnet. By the time the cam approaches cylinder 2, we want cylinder 2 piston to be at the bottom so that it can be drawn up, etc. Simple mechanics married nicely to simple electronics and I should say simple electricity. There's no solid state devices here, switches, wires, that's about it. On the inside we have a set of batteries and a tremendous wire harness connecting all of the wiring as demonstrated above. I chose to use four 9 volt batteries. Other power sources also will work.
simple circuitry married to simple mechanical devices and we have a beautiful little desktop engine This is Ralph saying thanks for watching. See you next time.